The overall goal of this procedure is to produce protein crystals for X-ray diffraction experiments. Here, three different techniques for crystal screening are demonstrated. Vapor diffusion crystallization methods, including hanging drop and sitting drop, as well as microbatch crystallization methods are described. For vapor diffusion crystallization, the wells are filled with precipitant. Then a high concentration of purified protein sample is mixed with the precipitating agent. The mixed drop is then sealed in a well containing the precipitant solution. Microbatch crystallization begins with filling the well with paraffin oil. The protein is then loaded into the wells, followed by the precipitant solution. The final step of all the methods is to let the system equilibrate and to follow crystal appearance and growth within the drops. Ultimately, crystals can be obtained from this technique and the protein diffraction pattern can be determined using an X-ray source with a suitable detector. Hi, I'm Moshe de Sao from the laboratory of Professor Yorgo Modis in the Department of Molecular Biophysics and Biochemistry at Yale University. Today we will show you a procedure for the crystallization of a purified protein. We use this procedure in our lab to study the structural basis of viral infection. So let's get started and uh, grow some crystals. To identify a crystallization method for a macromolecule of choice, Initial screens can be performed using commercially available crystallization solutions that are chosen to exploit the sparse matrix incomplete factorial method of trial conditions. These conditions are selected based on known and commonly successful crystallization conditions for macromolecules. Once the crystallization condition is known, a narrow screen can be assembled varying the precipitant concentration and pH around.